So, kickoff in Brazil on June the 12th, not yes. long to go now. It's looking a bit of a mess. It is. Um, these protests don't look like they're going to go away, and they've been happening for a while, but they seem to be getting worse. These were coordinated protests across 12 cities uh, that also happened to coincide with military police strikes, teachers' strikes, bus drivers striking. You know, basically, they're hosting the World Cup and then the Olympics at the cost of around a trillion dollars. And the average Brazilian says, why are we paying for this or why is the country paying for this when it can't afford to pay for the important basics that we should all have regardless of what it costs though is it the right place for the world cup i mean anyone who knows football knows that brazil is it's like a religion there, but is it the safe enough place? Well, safest I'm, place I'm really surprised at a lack of safety briefing compared to South Africa, where I think the hoo-ha beforehand was much stronger. And I think the areas of South Africa where you were advised not to go to, the rest of it was very, very safe indeed. Brazil is not a safe place. Journalists traveling to Brazil will have bodyguards and people using cameras will be told to go out with minders. You know, it, it's going to be a matter of looking after yourself, basically. Advice coming from the Brazilian police, I mean, listen to this, uh, saying that, well, World Cup tourists who fall victim to bandits on Brazil's streets should not fight back or even scream for fear they will be murdered. Now, we don't want to, you know, slight the whole country with this, but it does seem they have made a bit of a mistake with this. Um, well, listen, I mean, I don't think there's a bigger mistake than the one that, that, that Seth Blatter admitted to today. To I think the World Cup will have, there will be incidents during the World Cup, no question, and the protests might even be part of that. Um, but actually, Brazil, in comparison, because it's one of the homes, the spiritual homes of football, I think we'll give that a buy. Set Blatter admitted today, uh, well, actually, he backtracked massively, FIFA have backtracked. He said it was a mistake, saying everyone makes mistakes in life, uh, that Qatar were hosted a Summer World Cup. FIFA has since come out and said, look, all he's doing is reiterating that a Summer World Cup is a mistake, not Qatar is a mistake. Should he quit? He, yes, he won't. Right. He won't. I mean, of course he should. Set okay. Blatter quit, but he's about to go for a fifth term as president. We can't finish without talking about uh, Hull versus Arsenal in the FA Cup final yeah. tomorrow. Who should win it? Well, Hull's previous best is a semi-final appearance in 1930, so just getting to the final for them is a huge day. Um, for Steve Bruce, it's a massive day, and we know the underdogs have prevailed so well in cup competitions over the last few years. So but Arsenal Ar will win? Arsene Wenger. Okay. Arsene Wenger has to win it, otherwise there is a very big chance he won't stay.